Hi everybody, welcome to New Year's resolutions. Today is January 10th and our resolution today is promote with our cell phones. So how can we promote with our cell phones? So promoting ourselves or promoting others. A good way of doing that is live videos. Also recording and making those recordings available for them. Either platform that you use, uh, find a way where you can make it available. Anything that you promote, anything that you share it has to have that purpose and it needs to be respectful. It needs to be according to their branding, to their name, to the way they wanna be uh, shown and featured. So are you aware of that? Are you aware of uh, how uh, can someone possibly take that you misspell their name or that you uh, call them in a way they don't like to be called or that uh, you possibly say something they don't like you to say. So the easiest way of promoting someone uh, with a live video is uh, hashtagging the video with their name, the way their name is on their platform. And maybe uh, do a hashtag about what they do. If they are uh, good in selling, maybe you wanna hashtag a sales in their name. If they are good at singing a specific, uh, rhythm, a specific uh, way of um, singing or trend, you know, uh, or they are good at sports and they're, uh, you're probably featuring someone that is good at baseball. You may want to hashtag baseball in their name and whatever it is that uh, the presentation is about and or the month where it was made. Because people can definitely uh, probably use that content uh, to their advantage and you can be someone that provides it for them. Many times when I am at events, I'll be filming the presenter and sharing those videos on my social media. The reason I do that is because I find the value in the presentations. And I also find the value on sharing it on my platform because there is people who could possibly be interested in watching it and also in hiring uh, that person's uh, services. So um, I don't mind uh, promoting anyone. I don't mind promoting myself. The more I do promote for others is the more I learn to promote myself. So anything that I'm doing for others also helps me. How do they look? How do they feel? What kind of uh, responses do I get? So what happens to me is that many times when I share pictures of others, I don't tag them. I just promote it and uh, I do a post on my on my social media. And then I'm getting requests from uh, these people to add a tag to that picture, meaning when I add the tag, it's gonna show on the platform. So I don't uh, do that at the beginning because I feel it's intrusive unless I see the value on, um, promoting a club, an organization, or an event that we have and it benefits all of us. And it's only about that specific event or, the, or that specific gathering. So an easy way of you being in, in, in people's timeline is tagging people. And I usually don't do that, you know, unless they ask me or unless I think it's beneficial. I don't do uh, the tax where it's something about me or like these pictures you see about Oh, it's a chain of uh, women that want to post a beautiful picture and someone starts the chain. And um, I don't do that. I don't do memes. I don't do uh, any of those tagging like many people, even for Christmas, like the way people tag you and 50 other friends for a Merry Christmas card or stuff like that. I believe more on personalizing a message and uh, doing it on a platform is not the only way. If you truly care for the person, I believe uh, that sending a text message is a text message or a phone call is a, is a way of uh, telling the person, I, I love you, I care for you, I'm thinking of you. It's, it's best uh, personalizing that uh, do a general message. Last Christmas, I received a card from uh, Karen Morayo, our district, our district director. And I appreciated that very much uh, that she took the time to write and send it through mail to me. So what are those details that you could possibly do for someone that they will appreciate? I remember when I first became an area director, Lydia Boyd, 
uh, who is uh, one of uh, Saturday Morning Live's uh, members, sent me a thank you card for taking the position. I did not know uh, Lydia in person. I don't know her in person yet. So uh, the other day I was talking to Jane Dow. Uh, she uh, mentioned Lydia and she told me that Lydia was uh, very influential in Toastmasters and she has done um, a lot, you know, and she still uh, sends people uh, cards of uh, thank you and appreciation uh, handwritten. And how many people do you know that still do that? You know, the personal touch and how you make someone feel special and appreciated is, uh, is something that I recommend. So uh, that uh, personal touch and doing something personalized is when you promote for others, when it's all about them. If I do a video or an interview on someone, if I uploaded it to YouTube, you're not gonna see my picture in there. You're gonna see their picture because it's about them. And uh, sometimes when we're interviewing people, we try to tend to talk a lot too. And uh, so whatever learning when you do interviews is, is kind of pulled back, you know, and, and just have the uh, behavior of tell me more, tell me more, because it's all about them. And sometimes they do ask you questions too, and uh, due to interaction, or sometimes when people don't know what to say, you kind of move to a different uh, topic or you kind of take the interview in a way where they feel more relaxed. You know, sometimes talking about easier uh, topics uh, relaxes people. It is uh, nerve wracking to be interviewed and especially when you don't know the questions. And those are the kind of interviews I, I do where I don't send people questions or I don't tell people, uh, send me the questions you want to be asked. I tell them, um, I send the link, you know, and, and then I do a little briefing before we start. I say, I usually ask how much time they have and if they're ready. Or, you know, we talk a little bit, how are you? You look great and stuff like that. And then I ask, are you ready? And if they say yes, then I say, okay, I'm gonna start recording. And then I start the process of greeting whatever show I'm at and uh, introducing my guest and we go from there. So how do you do what you do is, is important. So I do believe in personalizing and making them all about them. And um, when you promote others, uh, it's a way of, uh, having that content available for them if they wanna use it on their own, if they wanna uh, share it on their, whatever platform it is or their website. So you can definitely let them know. You know, I usually let people know, I just got you live in LinkedIn or Facebook, or uh, I uploaded your video to YouTube and it's gonna show under your name. You know, I let people know so if I ever encounter someone who is not comfortable with me sharing that, then I have to take it off. I have to delete it as much as I wanna share it. I remember one time I was at Pro Toastmasters and I filmed it uh, part of the meeting. I believe I was live. I wasn't at the time when I was doing a lot of uh, live videos. And uh, there was a person in there, a couple of people told me, uh, I don't wanna be live. I don't want people to know where I am. And I had to take it off. You know, and uh, part of uh, what they teach you at uh, Toastmasters, part of being a VPPR, which is Vice President of Public Relations, and I have done two terms for two different clubs already on that. And I did trainings the last couple of years, even when I wasn't an officer, is that with um, social media and social assets, you need to uh, have some type of a form that you need to have people sign. It's like, uh, a press release and uh, what they do also when I go with Judy to the TV show is that they have people sign. And uh, the other day she took me for the photo shoot. Uh, there was also a form I needed to sign giving permission for them to take the pictures and, and share them and uh, do art with it, right? So the release form of them uh, giving you permission for you to share. And sometimes that is tricky, you know, like sometimes I'm at a club and we're having a virtual meeting and I wanna share it. So I was the uh, VPPR for Saturday Morning Live. And I remember one time I shared uh, one of our virtual videos and uh, someone very important in there told me, uh, we don't wanna share when people who are not members are on the video because we don't have their permission to be shared. And I said, oh, I gotta remove it, you know, 
and that was a good one I said uh, it will attract people to our club so be careful you know definitely uh, your best intentions sometimes are not going to be seen as that uh, for the person you are promoting uh, for or the best the person you are featuring or filming or talking about sometimes they might feel you're taking advantage of them and if you do encounter someone like that um, if it's life I mean delete it you're not going to get it back if it's something that they don't want on uh, YouTube and well you have to take it off if it's still in your computer and they change their mind later or they ask you for forgiveness or they apologize to you or suddenly you become a public figure that is making good money and now they want to do business with you and now you grown from this little person that you used to be and now you're someone more influential and they have probably changed their mind or apologized to you or asked you for forgiveness if you still have that content uh, you can definitely share it again but see how you feel you know sometimes uh, people uh, hurt, hurt your feelings and you just don't feel like you should uh, share it or change your mind about it if back then they tell you were not important or someone they didn't want it to be associated with, uh, not because life changed it for you, or uh, someone saw you as, as someone with potential to do something that uh, you could probably do or become good at, then that changed it for them. Uh, you may not be interested, you know, in uh, feature them or promoting them, or now you being associated with them because back then they didn't see the value on you. So sometimes people's egos can be broken very easily. And we all have that. And I don't say that I don't have it or that nothing affects me. As much as I am very spiritual, I'm just a human being, you know. And sometimes it's those uh, situations you encounter where uh, people prefer someone instead of you or uh, <laughs> when they choose someone where you don't see the value that the person is doing compared to what you were doing or what you can do. But it's their choice, you know, you cannot impose yourself on anybody. If they decide to go with another option, then let it be. And work on whatever it is that you're working and just uh, improve your uh, abilities to do what you do best and keep on working and finding ways to make it better and better. A way of making it better and better is promoting yourself. So the benefit of promoting others is that you learn how to promote yourself. You learn what works. When you are sharing, you see the responses, you see the comments, you see the likes, you see who likes it. And why is the reason that they will probably like it? And uh, the reason could be they like you. The reason could be they like the person. The reason could be they like what you're doing. The reason can be they appreciate you taking the time. So what is the reason of people liking and comment on what you are posting, on what you are sharing? and uh, on who you are promoting. And I constantly promote myself. I constantly pay for ads on Facebook. I have uh, been working on uploading uh, videos to YouTube. YouTube is a good way of promoting yourself. So how can you uh, become more efficient? Your phone, set your fingertips. You know, what apps do you have that you can click on and uh, create? an app where you can probably add a text to a photo, a little video that you can create of yourself. What are you promoting? What are you uh, trying to sell? What are you trying to uh, have people look at? Um, I see people promoting their beauty. I don't have anything against that, you know? You use what you have. I don't feel like I envy anybody. Sometimes I, what I tell people or what I tell women is like, if they were my daughter, I have a 23 year old son. I have a mother, you know, my uh, way of talking sometimes on my videos, trying to protect people, is trying to avoid situations that, that uh, might happen to them. And maybe what I say or what I see might not ever happen. And it's probably a way in which they will make a lot of money or become successful. Um, you know, that may be it. I don't have the uh, full of wisdom. I don't have the full um, intelligence of the world. You know, I'm me. I, I do believe that I'm capable. I love myself. I work on myself and I, I do uh, the most that I can with what I know. You know, that's just me. No one should take it personal. 
I'm not against anybody. The videos I try to make are, are very general. I do use example from uh, examples from friends or situations that I see, but um, I'm gonna continue to do that. You know, if you are someone that feels offended about something I say, and you think I'm using it because you told me something, you're not the only person that has told me that. You're not the only person that I have seen that aspect. I have had uh, like women in my life before. I have sisters, I have friends. I've been in situations where I see the behavior uh, over and over. And I just feel that it's a value that I comment about it, that I say something that uh, that experience could probably help someone else. Like you can uh, maybe be my friend now on Facebook or be my friend uh, related to work or be someone I talk to on the phone. Maybe in the next year you're not, you know, we're not friends. We don't like each other. We don't care for each other. And, and I probably still be talking about something that is related to your life. And you might be thinking I'm still attached to you. I'm not attached to anybody. People in my life come and go. I'm not attached to any person. And uh, maybe a new set of people will be in my life. And I will still find a way to make videos that help others. And it's nothing personal, it's nothing. I'm not a person that takes advantage of anybody, of any situation. If you feel like I'm taking advantage of you, you're free to unfriend me. You're free to block me. You're free to not answer my phone calls or not care for me. And you know, I'm not gonna die because of that. I will die if I'm sick or I'm killed. Um, it's not gonna kill me. You know, I do have respect for people and uh, people's decision. If you don't believe my um, friendship or my way of sharing or my way of talking is valuable and it bothers you, you don't have to watch any of my videos. You don't have to be my friend or interact with me in any way if that's not something that is of your interest. I will respect that. You know, I, I do understand. I feel that way sometime about other people too. And I take my distance and I unfriend people and I block people and I don't talk to people or I don't reply to their phone calls. I do that too. I am just like you. It's nothing I have against you and nothing that I feel that you have against me. It's just sometimes our, our way of feeling and our health and our lives uh, situations uh, make us feel that way. We don't feel like we can connect with others at the way they are sharing. And, and sometimes we don't feel up to speak to people. Sometimes people move too fast. They do so much in so little of, of time. You know, they do so much with an opportunity or they're so annoying. And I understand that. I understand the part. I've been annoying many times and I will continue to be annoying for people. And, but I still need to do what I do because this can potentially help someone. And um, if you're willing to be annoying, you will also be willing to become a trend and to become someone people are searching for to do business. So it's up to you. I love you. Thank you for watching.